Hey, what's up guys? I'm Sky the Pegasus and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different on the channel today. Um, today we are going to be doing my very first unboxing video. Now, I ordered a package a while ago and I've been really looking forward to it and I want to kind of make it a surprise for all of you. So just so you know um, what it is when I unbox it, but I know what it is and I'm really excited to unbox it and yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be um, unboxing this product that I purchased and we're gonna review it and see how it is. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It'll mean a lot to me. Also make sure to follow me on social media. Links will be in the description and share this video to help my channel grow. So like, subscribe, follow, share, and let us unbox this product. We got, now I got my scissors ready to open. So we're gonna cut uh, we're gonna cut out the part where I'm unboxing it and we're just gonna skip ahead to me opening it So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right guys. We opened the box up and it took a little while, but we are now opening up the Styrofoam wrap around it and now it's time for the big reveal Let's open this up Oh my goodness wow <laughs> oh do you, can you guys guess what this is oh my gosh let's try and take this out if we can oh there's tape around it we gotta cut that off but i'm gonna let you guys guess try to guess what this is have you guys figured it out yet well, if you guys haven't figured it out already, this is Ludwig's Holy Blade from the video game Bloodborne. Now, if you guys don't know, I am a huge, huge, huge fan of Bloodborne. I absolutely love the game. The game is amazing. And I played through the game a lot. I actually completed the entire game, got all the achievements on it. I got... Yeah, I basically got 100% on this game. That's how much I love this game. And if you guys noticed my OC, some drawing, some art of my OC, he uses a sword in some of his art, some of the artwork. Uh, and that weapon is another, is a different type of variation of this sword. It's actually the Holy Moonlight Greatsword. Uh, the difference between this one and the Holy Moonlight Greatsword is that um, this one is just um, a regular sword that transforms into a greatsword. Uh, as the Holy Moonlight variant um, is actually just a regular greatsword, but, but when you transform it, it absorbs moonlight into it and basically becomes a giant moonlight two-handed greatsword which is like probably my favorite weapon in the game it's really good um the moonlight variation um when you use um your power attack it actually glows and when you swing it actually creates a, a ranged attack a slice that shoots out and can hit enemies from far away so that's the well, this is the, the just the regular sword version. Uh, as the, the moonlight version, it absorbs moonlight and transforms into a two-handed great sword. But yeah, that is like my favorite weapon in the game. Um, and my OEC uses that sword, the moonlight sword, and I just absolutely love the sword. And now we got our hands on the um, the regular greatsword version so we're gonna um take the wrapping off um we got the handle here and then we got um the giant greatsword version i'm guessing um the regular one-handed sword is inside of this so we're gonna take the wrapping out and yeah, we're gonna see for ourselves. We're gonna hold it and see what it's like. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, and here it is. Um, Ludwig's Holy Blade. 
Now, um, the design is really good looking. Um, the markings are like a gold color on it, but but it's like it's a different color in the game. Like it's like a a dark brown color ish, but this one is has gold markings on it, which is pretty cool. It's not completely accurate, but it looks pretty cool. Um, now, when I assembled this thing, I thought there was gonna be like a, a one-handed version, like you take this out and the sword will come out, but that is not the case. Um, this is just um, the great sword variation. Um, it does not, uh, it's not a, a regular sword. It's just the great sword, so. A little disappointed with that, but I'm completely okay with it. Now, the first thing I noticed with this is it does not feel um, very durable. Um, what I mean by that is the handle does not feel very dur durable. When I picked it up, it felt a little flimsy, and yeah, that did not feel durable at all, so... This is not um, a sword that sh should be used like swinging and stuff and going crazy with this because it feels like if I do that, it feels like it's going to break and I do not want that to happen. So yeah, guys, this is not the type of um, sword that you want to be swinging around stuff going crazy with because it does not feel that dur very durable. It feels like it's going to break easily, but... This is something like for decoration to put on the wall or something in the background. But yeah, guys, this is the sword and I'm absolutely okay with it, even though I can't be swinging it around and crap, but I'm just glad that I have it. I can maybe use this on the wall, maybe when I um, use face cam stuff or whatever, I could put this up on the wall in the background and just for decoration. So yeah, guys, this is the sword looks pretty cool. Um, the material, um, the handle, um, it feels like a, a wood wood material mixed with some plastic on it. Um, and the sword, um, the edge here, it feels like a uh, sandpaper. So, and every everything else just. Um, feels like plastic. I need to dust it off. I need to clean it. So sorry if you can see a few um, dust spots on it. But yeah, guys, um, it's not actually made of real steel. It's like a wood and plastic material. So, so yeah, guys, this is one of my favorite weapons in Bloodborne. My favorite weapon is the Moonlight version of the sword. Um, this is just the regular blade version. Um, the Moonlight version the Moonlight version is the same design, but instead of like um, this steel sword, it's actually Moonlight absorbed into the sword. So this would all just be Moonlight, like glowing, like a greenish blue color. So, oh, I also forgot to mention the, um, the style of this version and the Moonlight version. I already said like the Moonlight version, um, the sword is absorbed with Moonlight and just becomes a giant two-handed great sword with moonlight on it um this one the one-handed sword um the sword um is actually one-handed a one-handed regular sword but the moonlight sword is actually a great sword a one-handed great sword so this is just a regular sword the moonlight version is a one-handed great sword and the moonlight great sword um and has like a different style than the regular sword um the Moonlight uh, actually has white bandages like wrapped around it. So that's how you can tell the difference between the regular one and the Moonlight version. So yeah guys, I forgot, I thought I mentioned that because I didn't mention it um, before. So there you go. All right, the next thing we're gonna be talking about is the price of this great sword. Now, when I looked at it online, there was actually two versions of this there is just uh, the regular one-handed version and the transformed greatsword version um, I bought the transformed greatsword version just because I just wanted the giant sword version and 
the one-handed version just looks like uh, your basic regular sword so I decided to get the great sword version and in total uh, not I'm not completely sure if I'm accurate or not but in total this version the two-handed transformed great sword version was around three hundred dollars so that is a a lot of money for this um sword but i think it's a good price um even though it doesn't transform into a regular one-handed sword um i think um it's a good price for a giant sword like this um the regular one-handed version was around two hundred dollars so again that's a pretty good price for a sword like this and yeah guys uh, that's how much it in total that it was and i'm okay with it but what are my final thoughts about this sword um i personally like it um even though it doesn't transform into a one-handed sword it's just stuck as the regular great sword but it's fine, it's completely, I don't care, it's really cool. I'm probably just gonna keep this um, somewhere in my room and hopefully when I get a, a wall mount or something like that, I'm gonna hang it up on the wall and just show it off. So yeah guys, this has been um, my unboxing video of Ludwig's Holy Greatsword. And yeah guys, it's a really awesome sword. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video and maybe want to see more unboxing videos um i'm not completely 100 percent sure i should do unboxing videos but if you guys want me to do more unboxing videos then make sure to leave in the comments below saying if i should or should not do it but yeah guys this has been our first unboxing video on the channel if you guys enjoyed it uh, make sure to leave a like on the channel really appreciate it and subscribe to the channel um it would mean a lot to me also make sure to follow me on social media links will be in the description i might be posting some um, photos and video clips on Instagram and Twitter. So make sure to follow me so you can check them out. Also, make sure to join my Discord server if you guys want to have a chat with me. And yeah, guys, that's basically it. So like, subscribe, follow, share, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.